Good morning. Today is going to be kind of a different kind of chapel, something we haven't done before. We're going to have a competition going on. Yeah. We'll have some announcements and a few things that we want to do. Um, I do ask that if you are planned to participate in the competition and you have a cube, that that cube either stays quiet in your hands, you're not moving it around, or if you can't do that, put it under your chair. And then when it's time to come up, you can pull it out from under the chair. Thank you. That will not distract people. We'll get to see your talents soon enough. All right. Um, what, a, what a month it's been. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's the end of May. Um, so we have had so much going on that I'm a little concerned, even though I've been writing birthday notes, that we might have missed a few birthday announcements. Uh, so let's see if we can pick them up. Um, I go all the way back to the 14th of May. Does that sound right to anyone? Anyone before the 14th of May that we missed? Okay. All right. Well, third grader, Zoe Fairman, on the 14th. Back on the 16th, fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Kelly. On the 17th, 7th grader Brock Larkin. And 3rd grader George Ferris. And on the 19th, 3rd grader Reggie Waller. On the 20th, 6th grader Taylor Gilliard. On the 21st, 2nd grader Marcus Zabo. On the 22nd, 4th grader, Jasmine Stewart. Also on the 22nd, 7th grader, Charlie Tobin. And one more on the 22nd, 3rd grader, Ruhan Saini. Uh, last weekend on the, or last Monday on the 23rd, kindergartner, Wyatt Miller. And on the 25th, Kindergartner Paris Fitzgerald-Young. And finally, uh, yesterday, pre k -er, Clay Manning. And now, looking at today and a little bit into the future, uh, we have today, 8th grader Casey Everson. Tomorrow, fifth grader Ethan Rayfield. Also tomorrow, and I know he's taking a day off to enjoy it today, our uh, maintenance and grounds friend, Mr. Eisenhower. On Sunday, second grader Connor Tudor. And sixth grader Leo Ganaris. And seventh grader, Caroline Moore. <laughs> On the next day, Monday, fourth grader, Henry Moore. <laughs> and fourth grader, Luke Nelson. <laughs> and to round out that day, the 30th of May, fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Bala. <laughs> And then we get into a couple June birthdays. Pre-K teacher, Mrs. Shellhammer. Fourth grader, also on the first of June, Dax Kunch. And taking us all the way to next Thursday, on the second, our middle school language arts and social studies teacher, Mrs. Malzett. We're going to have to ask all of these people to sing with us because otherwise we wouldn't have anybody left to sing. All right, here we go.
Does everyone know what Monday is? <laughs> Memorial Day. What's Memorial Day about? What's Memorial Day about? It's about soldiers who have died. Yes, it's about uh, honoring everyone who has uh, served for our country. Yes. The war is about people who died, who died in the war. And we have to honor them for sacrificing on the war. Right. Right. It's a day about sacrifice and honoring people who have served. Great. Thank you. Yeah, so you guys have obviously talked a little bit about this at home and um, it's a day when also we you know we gather together often with families and in communities and um, and so it's an important day for us to take as a national holiday and to remember um, we will be back together on Tuesday morning and we will have our week together through the end of the week and then we're into our final week of the year with moving up and everything so things are moving really fast um, as we're looking ahead uh, we're gonna have uh, we do a it's called a Dine Out for Good on June 6th, um, and that's going to be at the Chipotle in Exton. So on June 6th, between 4 and 8, a portion of your purchase will be donated back to Montgomery, so go get a burrito on the 6th of June. Um, other important dates for your calendar, uh, Monday, June 6th, all of our middle school students, Lucky Ducks, are going to Dorney Park. Um, to have a great time. Uh, that's going to uh, be their special activity uh, because we weren't, weren't able to run all of our special activities and dances and things this spring, so that's going to be a special occasion for them. Parents will pick up students back here at 5 o'clock, um, and we'll text if we're running a little bit ahead of schedule. Um, on Wednesday, June 8th, we'll have the Academic Awards and Middle School Awards Assembly at 1.45. Um, and there'll be a yearbook assembly. Uh, so this is, we're looking two weeks ahead. I'll remind you about this stuff next week. Um, and then moving up for lower school is on Thursday, June 9th, and graduation is on Saturday, June 11th, so just a couple weeks away. Uh, we have an update on something that we all did together as a community. Elise, do you want to come up and tell folks what we did? As most of us know, there was a Ukraine up, uh, Ukraine dress down day, and I wanted to say thank you for everyone's participation, and we made $670. Thank you. Thank you to Elise with the support of her family for making that happen, and um, really appreciate when we hear ideas from, from students. and then they put in the work to, to make things happen so that we can have an impact on the community in a different way. All right, um, so today I mentioned that we're gonna be having a little bit of a um, competition. Uh, we're gonna be doing some cubing. And uh, I thought it would be fun before we get that started um, just to talk about, a little bit about doing something new, right? Because some folks will come up here today who have never cubed in front of other people before. Some of them will be very successful. Others may be like, ooh, that's a lot of pressure. That's a, that's a big thing. So I wanted to talk about um, when we do something new and new experiences and maybe, um, who can tell me, I'm looking at Dr. Conroy because I know she's talked to some of you about this. Who can tell me what growth mindset is? Yes, Sophia. It's having a positive attitude about things. Yes. Great. So it, the, the thinking is the really big part of that, right? So thinking about positive things, believing that something is possible, and framing that in your head to say like, well, this is, I've never done this before. Even if I'm not successful the first time, I'm gonna learn. And, and if I keep at it, I can make progress and I can learn. So to hold that vision for yourself, right? That's why uh, in sports you may just keep going back and making those, those free throws and keep trying and trying and trying instead of just saying a fixed mindset, like I'm not good at free throws. Instead you go back and you keep trying because the more you try, the better you get. So some of the folks that came up here today, will, will come up here today, you know, might have picked up a cube very recently or they might have done it a while ago. Mrs. Murata, can you help me? For some of us in the crowd, I'm calling this our Sally Jesse. Uh, very few people in the crowd know what that means. 
Um, so we thought we would we'd be able to um, ask anyone in the crowd about uh, something that you started to do, you learned to do, and when you first started to do it, you weren't very good at it, but you practiced. Yeah. Stand up. Um, piano. Yeah. So when you first started piano, how did it feel? Exciting. Exciting, right. And so then you put more and more practice into it, and now you feel like you're pretty good. Great. Got one on your side? Charlotte. Horseback riding. Was horseback riding difficult at first? Yeah. And then? And then I practiced and I got better. Good one, Charlotte. That's right, Thank it's about putting in the time. What do you got? Roller skating. Roller skating. Tell us about the first time you roller skating. I was scared. Yeah. 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 And now, what can you do that you couldn't do then? Um, roller skate way better than I used to. Way better. Way better. Awesome. Raylan. Martial arts. Tell us what you do for martial arts. Taekwondo. And how, did, how have you been to, what belt are you on? Blue. And what is your goal? To be a black belt. Wow. Awesome. Mrs. Balzat, what do you have? Reading. Because I needed a lot of extra help when I was younger, and now I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> she even teaches reading, right? So she started out, wasn't so good. Was the, how did that feel at first when you were having trouble reading? Well, it was a little embarrassing, actually, because um, I, you know, I was worried about being pulled out for some extra help at the time. But now I'm so glad they did, because it taught me how to do it well. Great. Thank you. Hey, Enno. Karate. And what is your goal in karate? To become a black belt or something close. You have to keep on trying. Um, lacrosse. Okay. And tell us about the first day that you picked up a lacrosse stick. What, 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 what was that like? I, I was really nervous. Hard for it. And, and so what, what's, what's your goal? What's the next thing you're going to learn to do? Just to get better at it. Put, putting in the time. Right. These are all great examples. Everyone in the room has an example, right, of something that you started and that you worked hard on. Um, so I, I appreciate the stories because sometimes they're, um, they're things we really want to try and get good at. Sometimes they're things like we feel like, like Ms. Smallset said, like, I just, I need to be able to do this and I can't yet. Um, so when I was, when I was uh, very little, like kindergarten, first grade, I, I had a speech impediment. I couldn't, I couldn't pronounce certain letters. And so I was really embarrassed about that. And so I had to really work hard. And now you guys know I talk all the time. I get up and talk in front of people. So that's one of those things. Um, shifting gears a little bit. Thank you for all your hands. Think about those stories. Um, we want to ask a different question, which is about competitions. And maybe a story that you had where you competed in something, and not always where you won. Um, you know, was there a time that you found yourself in a competition or um, that you had to try out a new skill in front of people that was, that was scary or intimidating? Um, in one of my soccer games, we didn't win, but I had a lot of fun and I played my best and that's what mattered to me. Great, so you found yourself in a situation where the clock's winding down, can't do anything to affect it, but your mindset was, I'm, I'm learning, I'm having a good time. Yep. Daniel. Um, so I was playing a baseball game and I lost to a team called the, um, We lost to another team and then what? And I went over to them and said, you guys did great. Thank right. you, Daniel. That's awesome. We yeah, got one more story on this side. Um, I played soccer for a little bit, and I was not very good at it. But I had fun in every single game. Good. Right. Sometimes it's about putting yourself out there, right? Um, 
when, when I, uh, so summer's coming up, and some of you might be visiting like amusement parks and things like that. That's something I love to do over the summer. When my wife and I were just dating, like in the Stone Age a long time ago, um, we went to an amusement park and they were having a pie eating contest. And I'm like, that looks like fun for those kinds of people that do a pie eating contest. And someone was standing on stage and said, I'm looking for volunteers for the pie eating contest. And next thing I know, my wife, girlfriend at the time, volunteered me for the pie eating contest. And I was like, okay, I don't know what to do here. So I went up there and you know, I looked down the row and I said, uh, these people are way, you know, I'm, I'm not in their league. Um, and they put this pie in front of me. It was just like a plate full of whipped cream. And then they said, you can't use your hands. And so I had to stick my head into the tin of just whipped cream, couldn't breathe, it was like all over my eyes, and I was like, oh, this is terrible, and then I just started to laugh. Because, of course, if I wanted to be good at pie eating, I would practice that a little more often. Uh, but sometimes it's fun to just put yourself out there and take a risk. And so in that spirit, uh, we're gonna welcome up some of our, um, our cubers, and I may ask uh, Josh and Perry to help us out. Um, and help me MC up here. I have a list of lower school students and just, um, just because you're on the list doesn't mean you have to. Uh, but if you signed up and you do want to come up. Um, but I would like to know if there's anyone who signed up on the lower school list who is doing a two or a, a, four, a four square cube, right? A, a, Two by two, thank you for the lingo. If you're doing a two by two, come on up. Awesome. Let's give them a round of applause. All right. So um, we're gonna time individually here. Gotta love a man who brings his own equipment. All right. All right, who's gonna go first? Cole's first. Yes. All right, so what they have underneath their hands is a timer, and the rules are that the cube needs to stay on the table and once they lift their hand off, they can begin the process of solving. And uh, we will have a, a 90 second limit. If they, if they get to 90 seconds, we're gonna applaud and we're gonna scream and we're gonna like, cheer for them regardless. Um, but uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do a timer. When they put their hands back on the timer, it stops and then we can read the official time. Everyone say, ooh. ooh. All right. Might be their first time working with a timer, so you have to appreciate that too. All right. Cole, how are you feeling? <laughs> it's okay to be nervous. All right. It's always hard to go first.
In the four by four competition, what are the scores? Um, over here we have 24.525. Right here, um, well, the timer was stopped late, so I subtracted about three seconds from its time. So um, 36.102. Congratulations to you Get back to your seats. All right, who in the lower school group has a six by six? No, three by three. Three, three, by, by, three. By, three. Well, three by three. The bigger one. Who's got bigger ones? Three by three. Oh, you sound to it sound to twice. If you're waiting for your turn, if you guys want to sit down on the end here behind these guys. Uh, guys, uh, don't re-scramble them. We have to. Yeah. Alright, whoever's choosing this one is it? of middle school folks yet, do we? Okay, so Perry, do you mind going into the audience? And if you want to be on the middle school list, if you could just lightly late raise your hand and Perry will come write you down. Yeah. All right.
for our competitors. Alright, let's uh, get up keep it moving. Let's get the next two, next two competitors into your chairs. Josh is pre-scrambling the cubes. Coming again, coming again. 
So what inspired you to come up here today? I used to do it. I mean, like, a year ago. A year, so not, not when you were six. Uh, no. Oh, right. More recently. School, well, school. School. All right, okay. All right. I just want to ask you, how did you train for today? Um, I practiced in my house. I watch YouTube videos. You, you watch YouTube videos, you practice in your house. Excellent, excellent. My money's on you. Okay. <laughs> Competitors, are you ready? Yep. All right. Hands on timers. Fans, are you ready?
Coming again.
Thank you for a little bit of an extended chat with something new. The only way. Enjoy your day, learn much, and we'll do our dismissal. Thank you, Mrs. O.